Hi, my name is Caroline, and in this video, I'll show you how to pause a specific device on your home network. Now, this video is going to be very specific to Xfinity, but the principles in this video you should be able to use no matter what service or what router you have. Now, let's get started. Let's get started with a prerequisite to this video. The prerequisite for this video is that you need to have the login and password into your router or into your Xfinity app. Now, you found this information when your internet was being installed, when you set up your SSID, when you set up your home network name, when you set up your home network password. So this is the login password you would use in order to change the password of your Wi-Fi at home. Now let's talk about a specific use case. Why would you need to pause a specific device on your network? Well, that's very simple. In this scenario, we have a dependent child at home. TV time is up for them, or maybe they game on an Xbox or some sort of streaming gaming service, and you want to limit the amount of time or what time they can stream their games or they can stream watching TV. And I'm gonna use this Roku as an example. And I'm going to start a video. As I said, this is very specific to Xfinity, but you could use this as long as you know how to log in to your home network. I'm going to get my Xfinity app started right now. Here's my Xfinity app. I am already logged in. Excellent. And now I'm going to hit the connect button. Basically what you want to do is you want to get to your home network where you can see all the devices on your home network. Now, here's another prerequisite. You need to know which device you want to pause, the name of that device. So a lot of us have a lot of devices. So you'll see a lot of devices. Now, I know I want to stop the Roku 3, and that's the device on this TV. I'm going to touch that, and then it's as simple as hitting pause device. And let's see, do I want to unpause for a certain amount of time or until I unpause? I'm going to hit until I unpause. And there it goes. The device has paused. Now, you'll see on the video, it's still going. Now, the video has buffered for about a minute and a half. So it will take about a minute and a half to maybe even three minutes for the video to stop running. So I'm going to wait for this video to stop, and in about a minute and a half, it will stop running, and you'll see me freeze up in the video, and then the word loading. So when this happens, it doesn't tell the user on the other end, hey, your device has been paused. That's not what happens. It just seems to have some sort of buffering issue because that's what it really is having. It suddenly, it can't connect to the internet anymore. If you don't tell them, hey, I've paused your internet, they may think that, hey, the internet's just down. And uh, sure enough, now it says loading and I have frozen. So what do I do now? So you could have set it for a specific amount of time, but in this scenario, it's until I unpause. And now I feel like unpausing. So I'm gonna hit unpause device and I want to confirm I want to unpause this device. And now it does take a few seconds for it to get started. It's about 15 seconds up to a minute for it to restart, but it will automatically restart here momentarily. And here we go. It has restarted because I have unpaused the device. And that is how you pause and unpause a device on your home network. Thank you for watching. I'm Caroline. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye now.